Hello there, and today we're going to get a bit woo-woo, I would say. The process that I'm about to tell you about, explain for you to use, I have no idea why it works, other than the power of belief and the power of suggestion. But I know that it does work, because whereas I've never used it with clients, nobody's ever phoned me up and said, Tim, are you a life coach? Yeah, well, I've got a headache, so I need to hire you. And it doesn't really happen like that. So, But I've done it, like I said, with family and friends. And it's been incredibly successful on the whole. So this is what it is. So next time you get a next time you get a family member or friend who's got a banging headache, ask them questions like this. So tell me where the headache is. Now whereabouts in your head? All right. So you're getting a sense of it, or it maybe in the temples or the top of the back or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So and then then ask them to close their eyes and tell you to, to tell you what the headache looks like. I told you it was going to be weird. So what does it look like? What colour is it? How dense is it? What's the what's the cut the the exterior of the headache like? Is it smooth or is it gnarled or is it jaggedy or any other description you want to use? Okay, is the headache? How does it feel? Is it heavy or is it light? Get as much detail as you can about what this person, how they think about this. Now, as I say, this sounds weird, but when you start asking people, they've got their eyes closed. They, they will answer these questions. Hardly ever can I remember somebody saying, oh, I've no idea what you're talking about, you're lunatic. But when you'd think that's exactly what they would say. When you've got as much detail as possible, this is, it's going to go, we're going to go even more woo-woo. You're going to say, I want you to give me that headache. With their eyes closed, I'm going to take that off it. And you're going to confirm what they said. Yeah, it is heavy. It is smooth or it is gnarled or it is purple or black or whatever. And I'm going to move this away from it. And as I move this away from you, you can feel it losing its power on you, can't you? And this is where the suggestion comes in. You can feel that, can't you? Embedded command, presupposition, etc. And you move it further away. And as you, as you can notice as I move further and further away with your headache, how it loses its power on you. And you can feel it dissipate. And what I'm going to do with this headache now, is I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to take it to the other end of the yard, or I'm going to go and put it in the mailbox or whatever. I'm going to get rid of it. And that's it. Now, you're probably looking at this thinking, I always suspected this guy was mental, but now I know he is. I have done that dozens of times with people. And the, one, of the, one of the last times I did it when I was back in the UK was with this, a son of a friend who was eight, and he'd had this headache all day. Now... You know, adults maybe can pretend, yeah, well, let's humor Tim, you know, tell him my headache's gone, even though my head feels like it's going to explode. Kids don't do that kind of thing. If you just see the difference in the lad, his headache just disappeared. So give it a go. It's a bit of fun. You know, it's not, you're not going to kill anybody. Nobody's really going to rip the brain out of their head and give it to you. If they do, tell them to stop being so stupid and put it back in again. You, you, you're just trying to help them cure the headache. And... Um, you know, if it works for you, let me know in the comments. If you're doing it, it doesn't work. I'm not really interested in knowing. It's only, a bit, it's only a bit of fun. You don't need to start giving me a hard time and saying it's a load of bollocks because maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But thanks for watching. Cheers.